Hey everybody, Beauty Holly coming at you guys today with a favorites video. Y'all, I haven't done a favorites video. I can't tell you when the last one I did. I, I want to say maybe December of last year, but I'm really not for sure. So, we're not going to even worry about it. We're just going to start with today. Okay, this is going to be a favorites video for... What is this? June. We're going to say April and May. All these items I've used pretty much in April or May. It's a couple that I've used um, starting in um, the end of May. Maybe the first, maybe, yeah, we're going to say the end of May. I can't remember. So, I have so much stuff in front of me, y'all. So, we're just going to jump right in on the goodies, okay? Okay, the first thing I'm going to start off with is hair products. Now, I know y'all, hopefully y'all have seen some of the videos that I've done with hair products that I've been doing, that I've been reviewing. And, um, this particular video just came out, um, the end of May. It could have been June. I'm not even, I don't even remember. But I've used this product so far three times. And I am in love with this product. I mean, look at the results of my hair. And this hair is at least, I want to say, maybe five days. Five days, give or take, five day hair. And the curls are still so, divine, so defined and... I am just really in love with my hair right now. I am really in love with my hair. I, I love this product. And yeah. So the product I'm talking about is TGIN. Thank God it's natural. This hair mask, y'all, is the bomb. And there will, there is a video with me using this product. And you can see how my, curl, how my curls pop after I rinse this mask out. This is an awesome mask. Um, it has raw honey and olive oil in it. And my hair loves olive oil and it loves coconut oil. So this is a great, great, awesome, fantastic, fabulous hair mask. Hands down. It's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I am so in love with my hair right now. I'm, I'm serious. Um, also the leave-in conditioner, I love this whole line. I just brought a couple of products out because my countertop is so full of items. I didn't bring everything out, but the whole TGIN line, I love. Now I have not tried the shampoo. I need to find the shampoo. I'm hoping that my Sally's do have it by now, but that's the only product I believe that I have not tried. Every other product I have tried and I love it. And this leave-in conditioner is the bomb. My next hair product that I truly, truly love um, is my DNA. I was born this way. Now, I've done a video on this product, this line as well. Um, I will link it below. I will link both videos below. Um, this product, I love this product just as much as I love TGIN. Um... This product is awesome on my hair. It makes my curls pop. I It just makes my curls so defined and just so um, long lasting. The curls last such a long time and that's what I love about it. I don't have to do my hair every three to four days. I can do my hair every seven, eight, nine, ten days. That's how long the curls last in my hair. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So my DNA, I was born this way product. This is just one product, which is the co-wash. This is just one product that I brought with me. But I love this whole line. I do. I love this whole line. Those are my two um, holy grill products at this point i can say that I, I really love it i have other products that i have not tried yet that i'm going to do a review on and i don't know i it's i don't know what's going to beat this right here but yeah so moving on let me just keep moving um lotion palmer's coconut oil formula with vitamin e this is coconut oil body lotion 
Um, I found this at um, Walmart. And I don't know if this is just a new... I, I think it's a new thing because it's a coconut oil formula. And I really love this lotion. It smells... It smells really good. It doesn't smell like coconut, but it smells really good. And I love this this lotion. I've been using this for the last couple of months. You can tell. It's kind of, I don't know if you could see where I've been using it. Like right here. You can kind of see. I've been really using this lotion. And um, yeah, I love it. It's, it's really good to go on right after you get out the bathtub. And yeah, I love that lotion. It, it feels really good on i love it um so let's keep it let's let's go to um body products okay y'all <laughs> i just got this and i know i said this is april and may favorites but i'm gonna have to throw this in here i promise you i just got this like maybe uh four or five days ago and i love this body wash this is the olive olive olay daily moisture um body wash y'all this body wash smells heavenly i love the way this smells it doesn't really have a name on it as far it doesn't have a name on it it just says daily moisture quench and it's a moisture outlast penetrates skin surface skin layer by layer. It doesn't have a um, name on it as far as the scent or anything. It's just a daily moisture quench. This lotion, I mean body wash, smells so good. It looks like my camera is a little wopsided. Okay. It smells so good. I just I, I just got this, y'all, and I love it. I just fell in love with the smell. It makes my skin so smooth and silky and soft, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. I saw this on Tea with Tamara. Shout out to Tea with Tamara. I love her. I love her, her, her channel. She's an awesome lady. I love her. Um, she had this in her favorites, and this is the Tree Hunt Shea Sugar Scrub Tropical Mango. It's the one that I got, and this is like a body scrub, if you can see that. It's like a body scrub, and I've never used this before, but like I said, she had this in her favorites, and I thought I would give it a try, and oh my God, this is the bomb. My skin's feels like a baby's bottom it makes my skin so soft i mean i love this i love it and this tropical mango oh my god i wish i could smell this i wish i could smell this this smells delightful oh my god i love this so i am hooked on these body scrubs i don't use it every day i may use it maybe twice maybe three times a week um but I love it. This this is thank you, Tam T with Tamara. I love you. Thank you, Tamara. I love this product. Okay, I saw this product on um. Oh my God, what is her name? Tati, Tati. She's been around for a long time. I love her channel. She's awesome. She uh this was in her favorites and this is called dr till's pure essence salt foaming bath this is what this is and this is the soothe and sleep with lavender y'all this is gone it's just a little bit if y'all can see that right there it's just a little bit i am out i need to go buy some more this is going to go in my empties basket um and i'll be more detailed about it then but this is awesome i mean i i use this every night um it's a bubble bath and um it it relaxes your body and relieves your mind and it honestly does do that for me i get in my bathtub and i just sometimes i fall asleep i just forget about whatever happened that day and i feel so awesome when i get out the bathtub i feel so relaxed i go right to bed i just go i sleep like a baby this is i love it I love it, love it, love it, love it. 
And this is like, what, $5 at Walmart? $5. Yeah, so I'm going to have to go and get me another. This is my second bottle. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get me another one. Okay. Um, I do believe that is it for all my body products. Um, let's move on to deodorant. I saw this product on uh, Glam Twins. And I'm sure y'all have heard of Glam Twins. They are two beautiful young ladies. They are just gorgeous. I love their channel. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Well, they had this in their favorites. And this is the Dove Dry Deodorant Spray. 48 hour anti-perspirant. Uh, anti I know I'm saying it wrong, but anti-deodorant spray. Um, yeah, I really like this. I've always have used... Uh, hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. I've always have used... Um, let me see. Like... You know, just the regular uh, thingy. I've never really used um, spray, deodorant spray before. So, um, I thought I would give it a try. And I really like this because it doesn't, if you have, if you're wearing black, uh, you know how you put your clothes on and you use this right here. And you put your clothes on and you can see the deodorant on your clothes. I hate that. And so, you don't get that with this. Not at all. You spray it and it's gone. It is totally gone. It dries quickly. And you don't get, you don't see deodorant on your clothes once you put it on. After you put this on and you put your clothes on. You don't see that. And that's what I love about this. It's long lasting. It smells good. They have different, this is smoothing, soothing chamomile. And this lasts a long time, and I've had this bottle for a while. I'm almost out, and I definitely will be getting a replacement for that. I love that. I think I'm going to stick with the sprays from here on out. Um, another deodorant um, is the Burberry Weekend. Now, I found this at um, TJ Maxx. And, y'all, I was thinking I was buying a perfume. It was like $9.99, I think. And I was like, oh, a Burberry perfume for $9.99? Oh, let me get this. I open the box up and see that it's a perfume deodorant. It's a, deo you know, it's a perfume deodorant for women. And I was like, oh, well, what the hell? <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's what I get for thinking it's a perfume. But this smells so good. And it's long-lasting. And, again... When you put your clothes on, you don't see any deodorant at all whatsoever. And it smells really good, and I like it. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on to my facial cleansers. Um, I haul this. Um, it's been... I think I got this in February. I'm not for sure. But it's the Clinique um, System. Where you have the, the cleanser and the toner. And then you have the uh, moisturizer. And y'all, I really like this. I've been really using it. As you can see, my cleanser is like all the way down here. And I didn't realize I was that far out with this. And you get this huge bottle of cleanser. And I have plenty of that left over. And then, of course, I have my moisturizer. And y'all... I really like this product. Um, um, I have really seen my skin become more healthier. Um, and I, I just, it, it's become more healthier, more, um, what's the word? It, it's, it's lightening up a little bit, not a whole lot, but I can just, my skin is more clear. How about that? healthier and clear and I love the I love that system for my skin and I will continue to use that and uh, I really really like that and for my mask I ran across this at TJ Maxx this is uh, TJ Maxx it was for $4.99 and I saw it and I just picked it up this is a quick fix facial anti blemish mud mask oily and spot prone skin and I am a very, very oily, oily girl. And I just said, why not? It's $4.99. Why not try it? I love this stuff. 
I really do. And I have been meaning to head back to um, TJ Maxx and get another one if I can find it. But this is um, the problem. It says the problems. Excess oil, congested, blemish prone skin or a general combination skin type. And the solution is a dead sea mud. Helps absorb and control oil production. Sally at uh, Sally at something acid help draws out impurities and tighten the pores. Tea tree oil helps to uh, treat spot, prevent future blemishes. I love this. I am yeah. This is a great great mask. I really like this a whole lot. Um, another skin thing that I've been using, and I've had this for a long time. And I've just never really opened it and used it. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago. And this is kind of like a June product as well. But um, I said, oh my God. I happened to run across. I was like, oh my God. How come I have not opened this and used this? But this is a uh, spa size coconut oil moisturizing, clean, moisturizing cream. And it's organic ingredients, paraben free, uh, smooth, soothes, and firms, restore deep hydration. And it's for face, hands, elbow, knees, and body. Well, I've been using this as a moisturizer on my face. And some of the um, ingredients that it has, it has like mineral oil in it. It has uh, coconut oil in it. It has glycerin in it. And I was like, well, this is surely not for... Uh, or for, not for oily girls. But y'all, I have really been, let me show y'all. I have really been liking this. And I mainly use this at night. But today I used it, uh, today, before I put my makeup on. And I've already had to blot, but I don't think it was because of this. And I mean, it's just normal because I'm an oily girl anyway. So I always have to blot once or twice a day, no matter what. So... I really like the way this uh, feels on my skin. Um, I've used it for about a week now and it's been really awesome. And I'm like, I don't know why I didn't. I just bought this and put it up somewhere. And I'm like, you know, but I like this. And I, I'm going to use it a little bit longer and just get a feel for it. And, you know, because it goes on. Um, I'm not going to say matte, but it doesn't go on oily either. It soaks in really well. And yeah. And this was, I got this from, oh, wow, I got this from Dee Dee's. <laughs> I got this from Dee Dee's discount. It was for $5.99. And that's probably why I was like, well, I ain't going to really use this. But oh my God, I like it. I really do like this. Like I said, my hair loves coconut oil. So maybe my face loves coconut My skin loves coconut oil too. Who knows? Okay. Moving right along, we're going to go right into um, primers and everything. So, let's just start off with this. Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm. I have mixed feelings about this, to be honest with you guys. I know I've heard nothing but great things about this product. But, I don't know. I really feel like sometimes this makes me oily. I'm just going to be upfront and honest with y'all. I really do. I, I really think this and some of the uh, setting sprays that I use makes me oilier. And, I don't know if it's this or the setting spray. So, I've kind of calmed down on using setting sprays for a while just to kind of test out and see what it is. I don't know if it's the setting sprays or if it's this. But um, I know this is in my favorites, but this is kind of like a, I'm not for sure yet. I, I'm just not really for sure about this yet. Um, I've been using it. I mean, I've, I've used, I use this every day. I do just simply because no one had, I've never heard anything negative about this product. So I'm constantly using this every day. So maybe it's the setting sprays. I don't know. But um, 
I'm going to keep it in my favorites and just keep it moving. But I really do believe that um, that that's kind of like a... I'm still on the fence with that one. I'm still on the fence with that. But I did want to show it because I do use it every day. And I've been using it for a couple of months now. And I did want to show it just, you know, because I am using it. So, but I'm still on the fence with it. So, we're going to move right on. Right along. Um, let's see here. Let's just move straight to foundations. Okay, I have some, um, I have a few high-end, and then I have a couple of low-ends. So, let's start with the low-end drugstore. Y'all should have known I was going to bring Milani up into this favorites video. Y'all should have known that. This is Chestnut. And this is Spice Amber. I mix these two together because Chestnut Along is a little red on me. And this um, Spice Almond, I think I probably should have went to an 11. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I make it work. I make it do what it do. I make it work. Um, I love this. these two products. I'm sorry, y'all. That looks kind of funny. Um, I love these um, two foundations. Um, I have already done a review on this. And y'all, I love this foundation. It's the bomb.com. Um, it makes my skin look so glowy, so healthy, and just beautiful and flawless. I love this foundation. It's, it's an awesome foundation. It's a medium to full coverage. You can build with it. But you do have to be careful because it's very thick and it can look cakey on you. So, um, it's a foundation and concealer in one. Um, I really don't use this as a concealer. Um, but sometimes if I use this, I may not use a concealer. So, let's just put it that way. Um, but I do use, sometimes I do use a concealer with it. So, it just depends on my mood and what I want to do that day. But I love this foundation. It's the bomb.com and yeah. So we're going to keep it moving. The next two, and I'm going to show you these two together because it's by the same, uh, it's the same, by the same company or whatever. And it is the Clinique. I love these two. This one right here is the Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. That's what this one is. And this is in 24 Golden. As you can see that. And then this one is the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. That's what this one is. And this one is in the color uh, 20, what is that? 26 Amber? I think that says 26 Amber. I'm not for sure. And I don't know if it's going to, there you go. 26 Amber, I believe. I love both of these foundations. Um, again, it makes my skin look healthy, flawless. Um, it's, it, it goes on matte. I'm an oily girl, so the, the oils will come out uh, during the day. But <sighs> these are two of my favorites. Um, the next one is Stila All Day Foundation and Concealer. And the concealer is right here in the top, and I do use the concealer. I usually use this concealer because it's not really a highlight concealer. It's more of a same color. Um, it's like the same color concealer. So I just use this every day um, when I switch up my makeup or so whatever, my foundations or whatever, and I use this. I use the foundation and the concealer, you know, because it just, you know, it hides the dark circles. So that's what I use it for. It's not a good highlighting um, foundation, but it does well with hiding your um, dark circles. And this is in Deep 15. And I do have a video. I have a video on all the foundations that I'm showing you. So, if I remember while I'm editing and uploading, I would try to uh, link all these videos down at the bottom of this video. Now, this one, 
And this foundation looks a little funny. I don't know why. It looks like, I don't know. It looks like there's nothing in here. I don't know about this. Okay, well, I'll figure that out later. This one is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And I love this foundation. It goes, it is luminous, um, but not to the point to where I feel like I'm oily. Um, I usually use like a matte powder with it sometimes. But um, I really like this foundation. It's, it's a lightweight foundation. And I would say it's like, it's medium to build. Uh, well, light to medium, I would say. You can build on it. It's it's a really nice, comfortable, not heavy foundation. And this is in the color Dark Golden. And, yeah, I like this. But it, the bottle looks kind of funny. It looks like there's nothing in here, almost. It's like, and I haven't used this a lot, either. And so, I mean, I've used it. But not enough to where it would be looking like this so I'm kind of concerned about it but I got to keep this moving on okay the next thing will be concealers and I have you know what I didn't do primers let's do primers first okay primers and then we'll do concealers um primer Becca hands down one of the best uh, primers I've ever used. I love this primer. And this is the Ever Met Poreless Primer Perfector. This is a great primer. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. I love it. And I just got this probably a month and a half ago. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is a base mattifying uh, primer. And I have fallen in love with this one as well. And I use that along with um, this. So, yeah. But again, I'm still on the fence about that shave bomb. I, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. I, moving on. We're going to move on. Okay. Let's go on to concealer. MAC Hands Down. One of the best concealers I have ever used. This is the NC45. And I love this concealer. It's long lasting. You don't need a lot at all. Uh, it goes a long way. I've had this concealer for over a year now and it's still going strong. And I love this concealer. Um, it's, it's awesome. I love it. It has a little pump on it. Yeah, this is a great concealer. Um, I was on the fence about this particular concealer, but I happen to love it and I'm wearing it today. Um, yeah, this is the Becca, um, Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream, and this is in Toffee, and that's what this looks like, and I hauled this some time ago, and I've been using it, not a lot, because you really don't need a lot, it's a thick consistency, and you can see how light it is, so it's a great, um, highlighter you know, up under your eye, conceal highlighter. I really like this concealer. At first I was like, I do not like it, it's too thick, it's just ugh. But I just kept using it and I, I would try a brush and then I would try um, my um, sponge with it, you know, until I figured out how to use it. And so I think I got it down. And what do y'all think? I am in love with this concealer. I love it. Okay. Let's go to my favorite eye, pal eye palettes. Okay, this one is another one that I just got. But y'all, I love this, this palette. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about this palette. I've always tried to go online and get it. And it was always sold out or whatever. And I don't know if this is a new one or the same one that everybody's been getting. But this is Morph, the Morph palette. And excuse me, it's dirty. I've been using it. And this is the 350M. So I don't know if this is a new one or not. But I hurry up and got it. I happened to be at work one day. I was bored as heck. And I just pulled, got on my phone and I 
for some reason pulled up Morphe and <laughs> I ordered it. And then what's so funny about it, I forgot that I ordered it and a box came and I was like, what is this? And it was my palette, my eye palette, my, this palette. So, yeah. Okay. Y'all, this is probably the one that everyone has. I don't know, but y'all, I love the colors in this palette. Do you hear me though? You don't hear me. I love these colors. Um, I use this today. I am, I, yeah, I'm used this today. I really don't like the, um, the color that I chose for my brow bone, but everything else, I'm in love with it. I love it. Um, yeah, let me show y'all this again. I am just in love with this palette. It has some great, great colors. I mean, you can come up with so many looks with this palette. And ever since I've gotten it, that's what I've been using. I love it. Yes, indeed, I do. The next palette that I love is this Peanut Butter, Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly. Oh, my God. Y'all, I was like, am, why, am I going to get this or not? I really don't. I try to steer away from palettes because these palettes are not cheap. Okay? They, they are not cheap. They're expensive. And... I have all the naked <coughs> Urban Decay naked palettes and I'm like those things are expensive and so I'm just trying to steer my way away from buying any more palettes. You know, and I haven't made a dent in them, you know. So I think I'm gonna start sh actually I've been sharing with my daughter. I'm like I'm like, look, hey, you wanna use this? Use it because you know, get my money's worth, you know. Okay, here's the peanut butter and jelly. And y'all, these colors are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And y'all know I love me some purple. And mm, it smells so good. Um, Yes, I love this palette. I've been using it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I had to put it down though when I got the Murphy. I had to put that down for a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get her again. Don't even worry about that. And, of course, I've had this palette for, did I get this last year? Or was it year before last? I don't know. I've had this for about over a year, I know. And this is the MAC palette. And my daughters, my daughters got this for me. They went in together, because this thing is expensive. They went in together and they got this for me. And, honey, oh, my God, I love this palette. Y'all can see I've been using the heck out of this thing. I love it. So, um, yeah. I, I just love everything about it. The colors. It has some shimmer, some matte. I just, yeah. I love this palette. So, those are three of my favorite um, palettes. I haven't really been using any low-end palettes because, oh, I have another one that I want to show y'all. Forgot about this one. This is Tart Tartlet. And this is actually my daughter's, but like I said, we've been sharing. And oh my god, this one is just gorgeous too. And I've been really using this as well. It has some really pretty colors in here, and it's just it's just a dream. I just the all these palettes, the the shadows feel so buttery, they go on so easily and child I, <laughs> I love it okay I love them okay we're gonna move on to uh, lashes now y'all know my favorite lashes are hold on let me see I don't have it here in front of me and that is just the stupidest thing ever because I like salon perfect lashes the wispies I love those lashes those are my go-to everyday lashes I love them but these have been coming real easy into second place. And these are the Kiss Ever Easy Lashes. And these are the Wispies as well. Let me see. Do these say Wispies? Well, they really don't say Wispies. They are number 11, Kiss 11. But they're like Wispies. And I love these lashes. And I think I have these on today. Yeah. And... These right here are Dell Double Ups. I got these from Sally's. Oh my God. Y'all, 
if y'all want some like some some lashes lashes like they just come out at you okay these right here love these love these Another pair of lashes that I am very... Hold on for a second. Y'all, I got so much stuff on my counter. I'm like, you know what? Something is going to fall and whatever. Um, how long is this? Oh my God, I'm up to 35. Let me hurry up. Okay. Um, it's the MAC. I love the MAC lashes as well. Let me hurry up, y'all. Okay. Um, another primer is the MAC Prep and Prime. I love that. Um, my setting powder for my concealer would be the L'Oreal Hydrate Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. I love this powder. Uh, it's no um, when you take pictures, it doesn't you can't see it. It's great. I love it. And this is the what color is this? It doesn't have a color on it. I guess it's oh 916 Translucent. I love this powder, and I found this at Walmart. Um, setting spray or let me see my favorite setting spray which i'm kind of on the fence about this now is the urban decay all night and makeup setting spray i love this right here and then uh sometimes i uh, spray this before i put my makeup on evian i love that um my favorite powders again is oh my god y'all i need to hurry up with this video I didn't realize how long it was. Okay. BH Pro uh, Matte Finish Press Powder in shade 240. And I also use 250, I believe. But that's this right here. And let me just kind of show you what this looks like. Um, it looks like that. Yellow base. Okay. My next one is, of course, the Makeup Forever Professional Pro Finish um, Powder. And this looks like that and it has a yellow base as well i think i wore this today okay and then no i wore this one today and this is a double matte oil control press powder in 04 medium deep and this is by estee lauder and it looks like this this is the packaging and this is what this looks like and i wore this today so um y'all I believe that's it. Um, oh, y'all, I can't, I can't stop this video without showing you my lippies. Let me show you just a couple of lippies. Um, eyeliner, Wet n Wild H2O Proof. Um, I use that on the top, and then NYX um, on the bottom. Okay, y'all, Milani has this new uh, Amore Matte Lip Cream. And y'all, I've been having this lipstick on since 8 o'clock this morning, 8.30 this morning. And it is now um, almost 5 o'clock, 4.57. I have not had to redo this. I have eaten, I have drank, I have done everything. This lipstick stays put. I love it. And this is in the color that I'm wearing today is Obsession. That's what this looks like. It's a real pretty purple. And then I also have Gorgeous, which is in 15. And this is a real pretty kind of a pinky color. I have Fancy, which is a very pretty light pink color. And then I have another purple um, that is nowhere near me. I'm sure it's in my purse. And I won't be able to show you that, but it's a very pretty um, purple color. And so, yeah. Um, that's it, y'all. I think I have a couple more things, but I'm going to shut down this video. We are at 39 minutes. I am so sorry. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope y'all stay to the end of the video. Please thumbs up if you like these types of videos. I thank you so much for spending time with me. I love y'all. Be blessed. Be well. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Bye.